in this Universe Sandbox video, we're going to be terraforming Ganymede. Ganymede is one of Jupiter's moons, and I think this one's going to be very interesting. So if we pull up Ganymede here, uh, we can see that it has very interesting colors and craters and stuff. So I'm excited for how this one's going to be. I kind of want to keep it looking pretty similar to how it is. So I got a comment on a video, um, this comment right here that said that if we add some hydrogen, we don't have to increase the mass for it to hold water. So to start, let's try that. So let's go and add a little bit of hydrogen, just a tiny bit. Not enough to make it a gas giant, just to bring some of that in there. You can see there's a tiny bit of hydrogen. Now we're going to use the material and add some water to, and see if this water will be able to stick on the surface. Add some water on here and then speed up the time. Oh, it's totally working. Okay, that is revolutionary for the rest of the series. That means we should be able to terraform objects that are much smaller than Earth, which is perfect. Thank you so much to insert name. That is a very helpful thing that you've just given us. So now we can add a little bit more water to the surface just to get the surface covered. And you can see Jupiter there in the background is just chilling. Oh, some of the water escaped. So the problem now with this is this water is going to freeze in just a couple seconds if we don't add an atmosphere. So let's do that. Um, so yeah, the rules of the terraforming are we're not allowed to change any of the properties except for atmosphere because there's no other way to add an atmosphere. So we can add that in here, but for everything else, we wanna try to do it with the tools and we are allowed to just change the visual stuff. So you can see the atmosphere there is very ugly. Um, let's make it white and turn down the opacity. So I've noticed that if you make the atmosphere white, it actually looks more realistic, I think. If we add some clouds in here now, um, we can maybe do very light blue. There we go, that's looking really good. So that already looks very nice. Um, now let's adjust the atmosphere to get some more layers so we can actually get some heating out of this. So let's try that and see how that affects the temperature over time. Okay, so it's staying very solid if we put it at 55 atmosphere layers. So we're gonna leave it there. Let's add a little bit of vegetation, but I do wanna kinda keep this brown, these brown sections on it, vegetation. Um, that's like covering too much of it. So let's actually go to base color and we're gonna have to turn off that, but we can adjust the colors so they're back to that brownish color. But then also we can now get some greener colors in there. Let's actually give it some blue plants just to kinda contrast this orange better. That's looking pretty cool. Let's change the water color to be maybe darker blue. And there we go, let's add some city lights. Let's get a better seed, the perfect seed as always. And let's also add some ice caps on it. So we go to planetscaping, uh, go to ice, let's add some polar ice caps on top. Good, and also on the bottom to try to simulate poles. So it looks really cool. There's a lot of different islands and stuff and good continents. And if we check out the back, we got city lights a little bit. Yeah, there we go, get some there. Perfect. So this is perfect because we didn't even have to change Ganymede's mass. And if we check the habitability, 34.1 on Ganymede without changing the mass. So from now on, we will not have to change mass, which is amazing. So let's also change the interface color. Give it like that light blue color we gave it and call it Aqua Ganymede. Perfect, okay. And let's save this one and let's put it in our simulation with all of our other ones. Okay, so we can come in here. Here we got our terraformed Jupiter in here actually. Go watch that video. And we can actually replace Ganymede now. And there it is, Aqua Ganymede in our system. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave down in the comments what you think I should terraform next and leave a like on this video if you wanna see more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.